Welcome to your third Python web scraping tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be retrieving data from websites, and we will be using an automated process to do so. Something you might do every day is retrieve the stock price, and we can do that on Yahoo Finance. So here's Yahoo Finance. Enter symbol, um, just enter Apple. So some things you have to be aware of when you're web scraping is the actual format of the URL. And whenever you visit a page, it's good to just copy the URL and paste it into your file, just so you have it. And already in this URL, you can see that the thing you searched, it appears right here. So finance.yahoo.com, Q and S equals AAPL. So just by looking at this URL, you can kind of figure out that S probably stands for symbol, and whatever is right after the equals is the symbol. And then the useful information on the page. So what are we trying to find on this page? We're trying to find the last price of the Apple stock. So right here we can see big bold letters, 474.98 is the last price of Apple. So now we can do inspect element and right here we can see span ID YFS-184 AAPL and then between the span tags is 474.98. So let's just try getting this one one price here. But what we have to consider too is can we can we keep the ID the YFS 1E4 AAPL and how does it change between symbols? Because we don't want to search just between span tags because I'm pretty sure here's 50 other span tags that have different information in them. So we need a unique ID to search for each time. So let's try searching for um, the SPY, the S&P 500. And here we can see it has a different price. But oh look, YFS 184 stayed exactly the same. So what I think is that YFS 184 means the last price of the stock. And, and then it just appends the symbol onto the last part of the, it just appends the symbol onto the end. So I think that we can probably search for this and we can use Python to retrieve the last price of the stock. So let's just import our standard uh, libraries for working with URLs. So import um, URL lib and we're going to be using a regex, so we'll import that too. Alright, and then we'll say HTML file equals URL lib dot open URL, and we're going to be searching for this URL. It has to be a string. Next, we'll do HTML text equals html file dot read and then next we will do regex equals and what we want is what's inside here so we'll copy that put that in here and because it has quotes, double quotes in here, you can either use a backslash to negate them, or you can use single quotes. But I'm just going to use single quotes. And this is what we want right here. So I'm going to put dot plus question mark. And it's not spy, it's AAPL. So we'll put AAPL. And next we will do pattern 
equals re dot compile regex and then we will say um, price equals re dot find all pattern and we're searching an HTML text so the find all function in the regular expressions library takes two arguments the first argument is your compiled regex expression and the second argument is the text in which you want to ser search and hopefully this will give us the price print price or print yeah price save the file run the file and we get an error URL lib, HTML, I mean, HTTP finance module object has no attribute open URL. Oh, instead of open URL, it's actually URL open. So, run it again. And here's the price of Apple stock. So, we will go to Apple stock, and we can see that the price of Apple is actually 474.98 and the next thing we need to do is we don't want to do it just for Apple we probably want to have a list of symbols that we want to search for so we'll do the same thing we did in the last tutorial make an array of strings so we'll say symbols symbols list equals Let's try out Apple, S&P 500, um, some of them, Google, and Netflix. And then we will say, we'll have a while loop again, just like in the last tutorial. Whoops. We'll have the iterator variable, so i equals zero, while I'm writing C++ here. While i is less than length of symbol symbols list, we are going to perform these actions. So, if you don't know in Python, you show scope by just indentation, so that's why everything is indented underneath the while loop, and you have to increment the i, and instead of URL open this URL, what we actually have to do is, I'm actually going to pass this to loop as a variable. So I will say URL equals this string. In, in Python, you can actually add strings together to concatenate them. So what I'm going to do is split it here and here. And I'm going to say plus symbols list of i and when it i is zero it should put apple in there and then spy and then google then netflix and we also have to do that for the regex so this is the regex here and i'm going to split it right here I have to split with single quotes because this one has the double quotes and I can actually just copy this whole thing right here. Actually, if I have capital letters, it probably will not work. So, because the regex doesn't determine between capital and lowercase letters, so I bet that this will not work when I run it. But I think that Yahoo Finance's um, 
their URL bar up here. We can actually test that right now. So, um, if we say instead of uppercase apple, we say just AAPL, and then we search, it comes directly to the same page. So we don't actually care. We don't actually have to convert anything to uppercase characters. We can just use lowercase characters in here. And th that way we don't have to change our regex. Whenever you're web scraping, it's best to use the easiest possible way you can that still works. Because these types of systems, whenever a web page changes its um, their changes their format or anything, you have to rewrite your whole thing pretty much. So, so we'll print out price. And we will print out or we'll print out the price of the price of symbols list of I is price. And then we'll run this. Syntax error. Comma. URL open takes at least one argument zero given. Um, ah, here we go. URL open, we need to put just URL in there. I always forget that. I believe I forgot that in the last tutorial too. So what it says is URL open needs to take some variable. And before there, before we had this whole string in there, and then I moved it up here so I could edit it separately. And I forgot to put it back in. So this should run now. OK. So now we have the price of Apple is 474.98, Spy is this, Google is that, and Netflix is this. So now you might be thinking, oh, why don't we do this for an entire list of symbols, like a thousand symbols, two thousand symbols, and we can. We can do it for any amount of symbols, and in the next tutorial, we're going to read symbols from a file and be searching them that way. And I believe Yahoo Finance has an API where you can actually request data, but you have to register as a member and you have to give them all of your information in order to get the data. And they only give you so many requests per day or per hour. That's the good thing about web scraping is you can just get whatever you want, whenever you want, and you don't have to sign up for anything. or You don't have to be um, bound by their terms, you can get whatever information you want. So, thank you for watching this web scraping tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be going over reading symbols from list and file IO in Python. Thank you.